I feel believe that we will need to be open towards various approaches that can help ensure food security and nutrition, and that various approaches should include biotechnologies as one of the main uh, aspects of uh, toolboxes. So we would like to have this uh, uh, scientific debate and uh, platform for, to exchange ideas to illustrate in practical uh, cases where biotechnologies have worked to benefit smallholder farmers and consumers. We will hear uh, many examples uh, of uh, applications of biotechnologies during the symposium, but let me just highlight perhaps the two uh, cases. One is uh, the development of uh, a drought-tolerant maize for uh, uh, sub-Saharan Africa smallholding farmers through the use of uh, uh, biotechnologies, molecular markers, and so on. And that new variety of maize uh, has shown 35%, up to 35% of yield increase compared with normal varieties and the medium severe drought conditions. Another example is the use of uh, a um, fungus uh, as a biopesticide um, against the migratory locust in Madagascar. It's already being applied and the millions of smallholding farmers, uh, especially rice growers, benefited from those examples. That is uh, a misperception, really, that uh, biotechnology is equal to genetically modified organisms or GMOs. But biotechnologies include, as I mentioned, fermentation technology, for, for instance, uh, development of uh, biopesticides, which is not GMO or transgenics. Okay. And the use of molecular markers, which is not GMOs. And the improvement of uh, uh, dairy product productivity uh, is through embryo technologies, for instance, is not GMOs at all. And we will be hearing uh, presentations and discussions around this issue of uh, GMOs as a, as a part of the uh, symposium. However, I must emphasize that this FAO symposium is not about GMOs. It is uh, much broader, as I stated. FAO recognized the potential of uh, transgenic crop varieties, or GMOs, let's say, in improving the productivity of uh, crops, especially under uh, stressed conditions, for instance. And, uh, FAO, in the meantime, also recognized the perceived risks associated with such modern technologies as GMOs. And FAO would like to encourage governments and farmers and research organizations to carefully evaluate the benefits and potential risks of such technologies. But also, more importantly, FAO uh, respects that it is entirely the decision of the sovereign governments to decide on whether or not to promote or commercialize such modern technologies as we call it the GMOs. And I feel actually is prepared or we stand ready to provide assistance to our member countries in developing capacities in assessing such benefits and risks as well as formulating relevant policies.